we'll start with an opening statement from Coach. Uh, obviously heartbroken for our guys. Um, tough way to, to end the season. Uh, anyway, the end of the season is tough, but you know, you've got a one-point lead with eight seconds to go. You're just down to one stop. You know, the possession before, Sam comes up with a big block, protects the rim, and uh, you, know, you just got to get one more stop, and we weren't able to get that done. I was hoping that we get a better look at it at the end. Um, credit to Hampton. You know, they had two guys on TK who tried to take him out of the play, and uh, we didn't get quite the look we wanted. Start with questions for TK. TK, obviously, it didn't go down as the, the game-winning shot, but the go-ahead shot in the final minute there, what did you see on that play? Um, I just saw a, a, a good shot, great opportunity, get us the lead. Um, get us to win, but things don't go. It didn't go how, you know, how we expected. So we go to that next next season. And eleven turnovers in the first half compared to two in the second half. How do you feel like y'all were able to improve that number uh, between the halves? Honest, I just feel like we had to adjust. Um, we were sped up in the first half. Um, normally we were just doing the things that we we not supposed to do. Second half had to talk. Slowed everything down. Everything just started looking looking good for us. Obviously, Coach Taylor mentioned Sherry's blocked shot with under eight seconds. I'd love to hear from you. What did you see on that inbounds play uh, that led to Hampton's game uh, winning basket? Um, a good play drawn up by the coach. Uh, for um, I don't know. it was just a good play by the coach. Anything else for TK? Thank you, TK. You are good to go. Thanks, TK. Questions for Coach? Max. Uh, you mentioned that the you were hoping to get the ball to TK on that final play call. Could you uh, continue to unpack just what uh, where you were hoping to get him the ball and what kind of shot you were hoping to get for him? Yeah, you know, at that point in the game, you're trying to get the ball in the hands of one of your two two best playmakers. Um, they did a good job, you know, sending two guys on, on the TK. Um, Max came back to the ball. So again, we had the ball in the hands of somebody that we felt like has made enough game winning shots, game winning plays for us. Um, you know, he gave it up to Isaac who was running. Um, and Isaac got a clean enough look at it. Uh, but you know, with that much time, we just we didn't really get to where we wanted to get on the floor to get the ball to the rim and get the ball to the paint, especially in a one point game. Uh, we wanted to put pressure on the rim and, and not settle. You've talked a little bit this season about uh, your team's sense of urgency at the beginning of games. Uh, it seems like maybe that pattern of a lack of sense of urgency continued. Just what was your message to your team at halftime and, and then, I guess, as at the end of the season? Yeah, I think it was, it was, it was more um, just calm down. It wasn't a, a lack of urgency. I mean, you could tell our guys were nervous. I mean, we, we shoot 50% from the free throw line. We shoot 30% from three. We got open looks that we didn't knock down. Um, our guys were just really worked up. So the turnovers, playing too fast. Um, we got a young team, and this is their first real opportunity on this stage. Uh, would, have, would have loved to have seen them kind of come through. TK makes a big shot that gives us an opportunity to win the game. Um, but we, we weren't able to pull it out. So. Uh, again, it was disappointing for us, and, and we talked about that in the locker room, but I'm proud of the effort they showed down 14 points at the end of the first half, and we come back, and, and we get the lead, uh, and we're in position. We've got multiple stops the second half. We only give up 22 points in the second half. Like Our defense was really good. Uh, we just didn't get the one key stop there at the end. Last one for me. What did you feel like you saw from your team from the three-point line tonight, shooting twenty-two uh, percent? Yeah, I mean, we got we got the looks that we've gotten all year. You've seen us. You've been at every game, you know, with us, and the same looks we've gotten, and that Zach Irvin has made, or Nick Dorn, or whatever. It's just like the free throw line. You know, we we haven't shot fifty whatever fifty-two percent from the free throw line. Um, so like that, that's a killer. And we missed front ends of one and ones too. So uh, we left a lot of points on the free throw line. Uh, got to the line early. Uh, Nick Dorn missed two free throws to start the game. So you could tell it was like, you know, we just had to settle down and try to get into a rhythm. Uh, it took a long time before we could kind of do that. And at that point, obviously, Hampton had some more confidence. Marcus, last one. 
Sure. What did you see on on the play that ultimately was the game winner? How did he spring open and and kind of where was the ball dropped? Yeah, I mean, I, again, I, th I give them credit. They they were able to make a play. Um, you know, out of, out, of, out of bounds, under. We were trying to protect on the corner three point shooter. Uh, Will Cox was running there, so you know, TK went with with the shooter, and they dove a couple guys back to the rim. You know, we tried to be physical and wall up. Mullins is obviously a, a handful in the paint. Uh, he's a good scorer, and, and he was able to get the ball with a little bit of an angle and made a tough finish. It wasn't uncontested, um, but you know, there was a crowd in there, and he made a tough finish. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.